What is going on guys, Tizwafa here, and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Let's just jump right in. Now, last time I left off in Bug Snacks, some, some stuff was unfolding where it sounds like the Bug Snacks, no matter how much these guys eat the Bug Snacks and, and, and rely on the Bug Snacks to try and, you know, make their lives better, like Wambus trying to bury them to, to try and, you know, become a, a successful farmer, and no matter how many times you try and does that, it just doesn't work out with Wiggle. She tries to get her creative juices flowing by eating bug snacks, hoping it'll like give her some inspiration or something like that. It hasn't worked out very well. For Chandlo, he's wanting to get like strength by eating big, strong, meaty, aggressive oh. bug snacks and stuff. Nothing's really happened just yet because we only just started a side quest, but I feel like that's not going to go anywhere either. Things are really taking a, a sad and depressing turn over here, especially recently with uh, what we heard with Triffany. Because uh, she's she's trying to find out what happened to her grandmother, who was also an explorer, just like Lisbeth. So, what if we can continue uh, her storyline, her side quest a little bit in the future? Perhaps we need to do more uh, interviews and stuff like that. And speaking of such, let's definitely. How you doing? Hey, I'm I'm doing pretty well. I hope you're doing well, Philbo. Because I assume because you're covered in, in shrabbies, you're not really doing as well as uh as I thought you were doing with me laughing at you hey, a few episodes ago. Man, hey and then. Uh, I, I just wish I could turn these guys back into, into you know, their regular limbs and stuff. Like, it was funny at first, like, oh, he's, uh, he's nothing but tacos, oh, he's nothing but shrabbies, but... Knowing that, it's probably making him miserable. Like, it, 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 I, I feel so bad about it now. I just need to find where, like, Cromdo was. Or, uh, not Cromdo, that's where Cromdo is, uh, Chandlo. Where's, where's Chandlo at? Because I want to do his... He's probably running around to be quiet. Oh, there he is right there. Because we need to do a mission for him. We have to do a mission for uh for Wiggle over there. So let's go talk to uh, Chandlo first. How you doing, dog? I'm doing pretty well. I hope you're doing well, considering you're 90% bug snacks now. <laughs> Sounds like we have a mission for him, so... What was that about the exercise? Yeah, let's do his exercise mission. I got a new exercise in mind, if you're ready to spot me. <laughs> Even though I'm, like, trying to be a lot more uh, nice about Philbo there, like... Overall, you've got it, me. He's still pretty funny when he's <laughs> nothing but strawberries there. All right, let's do it, Chandler. We'll see what this exercise is all about. I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm going to jog around. You use your grappler to knock them down on top of me. Ooh, that sounds... Yeah, it sounds very dangerous. What are you trying to do, Chandler? Maybe for you and Snorpy, but this is what I got to do to challenge myself. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. <laughs> All right, let's do this. How do I get the, uh, here we go, snack grappler. Oh man, I'm already like really behind. Oh, I missed. Come on. Ah, oh, man, you? I'm really behind here. He is way, oh my God, there was waste right there. Oh my God, that was around the corner and everything. Go, 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 get that. Oh, come on, get that one all the way. Oh, I can't reach. No, man, I've got to like stay ahead of him. Oh, he's just going in circles and stuff. Okay, perfect. That's heavy, Oh, that was too early. Let's do that one. Oh, come on, that didn't work. That didn't count. Oh, that didn't count either. I've got to get a perfect. Uh-oh. Oh, that is actually on his head. How'd that not count? What? Oh, my gosh. Well, he's got one set of weights on his head, which is casual as heck. Oh, I can't get... Oh, that one's the, probably the one that I got. Oh, that was too early. Whoops. Come on. Slow down. And... Keep him coming. Awesome. We got that one. We have to get him to five. Man, this is crazy. Come on. Let's go. Is that good? More weight. Perfect. One more. Oh, wait. Is that one glitched? It's not even hanging anymore. Hold on. Let's try and get that one over there. Let's try and get ahead of him, and then... Boom! Keep him coming! Perfect! One more is going to be good! Uh, oh! More weight! Awesome! How you feel there, Chandlo? How do you... Oh, how do you feel? I feel swole, dog! Look at the pickle jar glitching through the weights. <laughs> now let's see what you got, Stump! <sighs> oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. What? But that's okay. I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. Cause if I don't, who's gonna have Snorpy's back? Oh, man. See, now here's that depressing turn again. Like, how do you lift a house and you can't lift a stump, right? Like, he lifted up Snorpy's house. <laughs> and I was just talking to him. How, how do you feel, Shanlo? Still stumped. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm not getting any stronger. I wasn't pushing hard enough. Maybe it's the bug snacks. We went way too small, you feel me? I've been hearing rumors about this monster snack out in the forest. 
Wamba said it was so huge, no Grumpus alive could lift it. Sounds like the ultimate workout. Let's catch it, bro. Hold up a minute, let's do it. All right, well, let's do it, but I I hope it'll help you, but I, it's probably not gonna help you, but we we might as well give it a shot there, Chandlo. Oh uh, yeah. Meet me in Flavor Falls. <laughs> All right, we're just going to teleport. Oh yeah, okay, we're going to teleport over there, perfect. Flavor Falls. This way, dog. Just thinking about that buff snack is getting me pumped. Snorpy keeps telling me it's okay if I can't lift the tree stump. And I feel that. And I love him for it. But he just doesn't get it. I'm doing this for him. The world will crush you if you let it. I gotta be strong enough to keep him safe from all that. He's acting like a big brother to Snorpy, and I like it. Pretty cool. Where are we going? Do we go to that one, uh, gateway that I saw? Is he going to open up the gateway now? Oh, this is how you get into the gateway, huh? You have to do this mission for him and then he'll open it up. <laughs> yep, boom. Oh, there's a big melon in there. Holy, this is the big melon he's trying to eat to get stronger. There it is. Wambus wasn't kidding. That snack is huge. All right, you big bug. Here comes the Chandlo Slam. Oh, <laughs> wait, what are we supposed to do here? Catch one Mama Miwan? Or Melwin? <laughs> Melwin. <laughs> How do we do this? We've got the little. What are these guys? What do we do here? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Is Chandler okay? He's healing. He got like knocked down. We got these like little mini melon guys over here. Oh! Uh oh, yeah, he is not. He is completely knocked out right now. Oops. What do we do? Oh, uh. I see the symbol again. Let's, let's see. Ooh. How do we. They're like stalactites coming out of the sky. What are these guys doing? Oh, do we lure her over here? Hold on. Come over here, Mama Melwin. <laughs> let's see if we. Oh, these, these must be like melon seeds or something like that, right? Or they look like it. Their feet are seeds, it looks like. How do I get the, uh. Oh, let me scan her. Oh, loves the little, uh, baby melon, guys. This massive snack protects its offsprings at all costs. Try to get the drop on it. Ooh. Chadlow says that's one mean green mama. <laughs> hates traps. Ooh, okay, that's how we can lure it over here. If it hates traps, we can lure it by putting a trap down under this. Oh, and then we can trap the little guy, maybe. Oh, 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 perfect, perfect. Let's get the, uh, snack grappler. Oh, there we go. Nice. It's slicing into him. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, let's do the same thing. Try and capture one of its young. And then it's going to get really mad. Come on. Run in. And then get the slag tied on its head. Nice. How many times do we have to hit it to, to break it open, though? Catch one mama mel. How would we, uh, it's so huge, right? I guess we could try it a third time. Third time's a charm, perhaps. Here, catch the little guy. Let's get the grappler. Come on, run into the big statue. Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, that didn't line it up perfectly. Yeah. All right, how would we, uh... I could, I could snack grapple her, but, you know, you can only do it to, uh, to things that are... Hold on, let's go to the other side. It's, it's kind of getting cramped over there. Let's go over here and try and catch one of the little, uh... Little, little melon guys. There you go. Oh, oh, man, I didn't... Hold on. Come on, get the little guy in there. There we go. Oh, man! I keep going in and out of my trap. Oh, my gosh! Come on! Get in! There you go, perfect. And let's get the grappler. And there we go. Got her. Oh, nice. She found the chunks. Oh, it's like a second form. Oh, no, I'm dead. That was a close one, dog. That snack is on a rampage. I got an idea. I'll distract the mama. You get the drop on her. Oh, my gosh. That's like the first time you've died in this game. That's crazy. It's going to distract. How do we get the drop on her? Uh. I got your baby ball! Let's drop. Boom! We got her right there. How do we get her? How do we get her? Oh, what do we do? Oh, we go over here. Oh, we probably have to hit her like three more times or so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! She's like a tiny little slice now. What? What? That's it? Ha <laughs> ha! That's really it. You just slicing her up constantly with the slag tights until she comes with a tiny little watermelon Thanks, slice. bro. That bug could have killed me. It was way strong, dog. 
And once I eat it, I'll be just as strong. Deploy it. All right, let's give it to him. Uh, feed. We actually do it. Oh, <laughs> that gigantic thing! I can feed it. Look at how small it looks. What? Uh, his teeth. His whole. Oh, I wish I could turn his body into it. It'd look really good. Oh, you know what? We can if we uh if we feed him other stuff too. Let's let's turn his horn into it or his nose. Does he have a no? He still has his regular teeth. I guess we could do a horn. Whoa! <laughs> He's got a melon slice. I was hoping I'd get twice as big or something. But no, I'm just the same Chandlo, and Chandlo isn't good enough. I spent my whole life climbing a mountain, and once I got to the peak, all I saw was a taller mountain. Bro, even if I could rip out that stump. I couldn't stop an earthquake. There's always going to be something bigger than me. Stronger than me. Snorpy's always going to be in danger. Yeah, see, there it is again, where, where they get, like, they, they put themselves down. Man, this game was so happy-go-lucky when we started out. Now, now, it's not getting any better, unfortunately. But once we get back to Snacksburg, I, I guess we could feed... Chandler like one more thing maybe turn his horn oh yeah his horn and then his teeth into uh whatever else then we could turn his body into the to mama melon thing that'd be pretty fun but we know it's, it's, it's never going to be enough but like, no matter how many bug snacks they they eat they they, they never improve as much as they hope which just kind of sucks he, he he ate the big mama melon hoping that he'll gain the strength of a mama melon but he, all he got was a a, a melon slice for a horn <laughs> that kind of sucks uh, sleep until noon. There you go. Everyone should be awake by then. Let's go see what Chandler's up to now. Can we still talk to him? Does he have any more quests or anything that hey, we can talk to him about? Oh, look at Triffany sounds happy, so that's good. Where's, uh, Chan- Oh, there he is right there talking to Snorpy. Where's the stump, Snorpy? I removed it with my digging device. It took five minutes. <gasps> oh! <sighs> Thanks. Anytime, Chandler. Well- I guess you could <laughs> defeat the stump with brain rather than brawn. What do you have to- Oh yeah, we still have to interview Snorpy. Can I talk to Chandlow about anything? Let's chat. What does he have to say? What makes Shelda so wise? I don't pretend to understand it, bro. But Shelda can see the future. Yeah, the person that was like meditating in sizzling sands. Let's eat. I guess I could feed him stuff and then turn his body into a melon just for the memes of it. Baja cockroach. That sounds like something he'd eat. There you go. Uh, teeth? Yeah! Oh, whoa, they're like black tortilla, like, teeth, it looks like, or something. <laughs> Let's give them a horn. Talk roast horn, there you go. Now we could use this snack spearmint thing to turn his body into the mama melon, right? Oh, yeah, we still have to turn his body into, uh, something before we could actually do that. Uh, palitos, I guess if we do, or... Oh, whoops! Uh, there, okay, now we could do the body. Whoa! Oh, ew! Oh, see, that's kind of, that's kind of weird, it's just one color. Uh, that's, that's not that's not as cool as I thought it'd be. What if we turn his body into the sand of heat, though? Oh, it's like <laughs> it's like bread. Let's go back to uh. Oh, which one was that? Is this the same thing if I do sand of heat or sub sand of heat? Okay, they're all the same thing. What about Mama Melon? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, see that looks way better. What if I give him everything that's melon though? And you know what? Let's let's not do that. Uh, we can keep his body as the melon though. I like him having the melon horns. I like him having the pickle head. That's pretty funny. And then, uh, he has to- oh, you know what, L let's give him a matching, uh, what was it called again? Cinna snail. let's give him a matching Cinna snail leg there. So he's got the, 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 the sandopede biceps, he's got the honeycomb- what are those called again? The honeybee arm- or hands? He's got Takarosh teeth, he's got Mama Melon body and horns, he's got the pickle, or, uh, pinkle hat right there, and he's got the entrap nose. <laughs> I, I like the way he looks, I like how, how cool the varied- guys look like this. Like, it's a variation, it's like a mixture of different bug snacks and stuff. I like that a lot more than just having one bug snack. Like, like, Gramble or like, like, like... Oh, see, now I can talk to Wambus again. I want what, what, what can I talk to him about? Let's eat, let's chat. I guess I could just feed him, or... So, I don't know what that's all about. Hmm. Oh yeah, and then we have a thing for Wiggle. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. I definitely need to catch up on some interviews. Maybe we'll just do interviews for the rest of the episode or something like that. So, where's Floofty? Who's oh yeah, yeah, let's go talk to Snorpy now. I think he'll's well, next after uh, Chandlow, so let's talk to him now and let's interview him, see what he has to say. Have time for an interview? Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Don't you want to find Lisbert? What if your name wasn't attached? Ooh. 
You know what, let's do number two. What if your name wasn't attached? Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. Alright, that sounds good to me. Let's start the interview. <laughs> I like how we're behind the barn so no one can hear us. Who are you? Oh, well, that kind of, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole secret identity thing, right? <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted Bean. <laughs> I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Okay, why come to Snacktooth Island? Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. <laughs> I love how things are getting redacted here, like by his own voice saying, Redacted. How long have you and Redacted been in a relationship? But, well, I, well, I, I, I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I don't think he has. Uh, thoughts on bug snacks? So now we can hear the origin story of them. They met in kindergarten, even though Chandler said they've been together since the beginning of time or whatever. <laughs> thoughts on bug snacks? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. Honestly, that doesn't seem too far fetched by everything that we've learned about bug snacks. <laughs> if bug snacks are artificial, where do they come from? I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. Yeah, I think we saw him. Doesn't he have like a drawing of like a factory under the mountain or something like that? I, maybe I can go point it out later. Why'd you leave town? I was too exposed. Flufty tried to wrap me up in that experiment, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. I don't think this guy's going to be too helpful with this. He, he keeps blaming the Grumpinati and like artificial bug snacks and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> what is this Grumpinati plot? Lizbert disappears. We are hit with an earthquake. We suffer a snack shortage. All that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Hmm, it could be aliens, too. Alien Grumpinati members? Any info on Lisbert? Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted. Blow an arm wrestling. <laughs> we would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. I like how the redacted thing doesn't even cover up the whole name. Like, you still hear that he said Chandler right there. What terrible secrets? <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Now, they wouldn't be secret if you told us, right? <laughs> I think we're done here. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. Oh no, another hug! Oh! Ah, hey. This must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island that came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Ooh. I was about to say, like, he didn't help me out as much as I was anticipating, but... He goes in for the hug and gives us all this information, you guys. So is this strange, like, device entrance or whatever? The one with the three pressure plates that we saw? Snorpy gave you a map to a mystery door. Check your journal for details. Ooh, where is this? And how can we get there? Everything We've been everywhere, except for, like, the mountains, but I don't know how to get there from... Oh, whoops. Either Flavor Falls, Garden Grove... Probably not Snacksburg, or Sugar... But Sugar Brian Woods is probably, like, the way to get there, to be quite honest. So let's look at that clue. Where is that? This? Oh yeah, see, we already saw that one, the Boiling Bay thing that Cromdo gave us. At the end of Boiling Bay, past the shipwreck, Liz uh, was definitely over there, you'll see. Yeah, that's where we got this bottom p page of her, uh, like, notes or something like that over here that told us, like, the combination to this. I guess the gateway that, uh, where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, here's right here is saying the pressure plates won't activate. I think the ancient grumpuses need to be fed first, but what do they like to eat? Where is this? Near the mountain peak, hang left from the trail. Take a narrow ledge north. See attached map. But how do we get? How do we get to the mountain peak though? Like uh, that obviously is in the this last area here, like the mountain area. 
I guess we can go to Sugar Pine Woods and see if there's a way to go to the mountain area from Sugar Pine Woods. Because I don't think we haven't been there in a little while. Maybe something's. In, yeah, remember back at Scorch Gorge? We went to Scorch Gorge and the uh, Chandlo like let down that bridge or repaired the bridge or something like that, right? And that's how we got the sizzling sands. Okay, so it definitely makes sense to go back to Sugar Pine Woods, see if something random is going to happen. That'll lead us to be able to go to the mountain area over here. And that's the final area. That's probably where we're going to find uh, Lisbert and Egabel. So that's going to be really cool, especially because we had a random quest over here that came out of nowhere. Mountain climb. Haven't yet braved a mountain's peak, but it seems that I'll find clues about Lisbert and Eggbell up there. Yeah, search the frosted peak. Everything keeps uh, referring and pointing to this frosted peak thing over here, so that's what this place is called, the frosted peak. And we need to go over there and hopefully find uh, clues. And we have the way to open up this, like, secret entrance thing that it's talking about with the pressure place. The pressure place won't activate because he probably doesn't know the, the combination, but we do. It's uh, first left then right, then center, and then after that, push down hard on all three, that should get a response. So we know the way to get in there. Oh, what was this thing again? Oh yeah, that was Egg Bell's uh, chest key, and it's in the shape of an egg. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty cool. I like that. We're, we're getting a lot of, lot of progress done here. Should we do another interview before we leave, or...? I don't know, because I'm... Oh, uh, we could do a... Yes, hello. We could do a side quest for Snorpy, it looks like. How's it going, Snorpy? Ah, chum! Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny-free day. <laughs> Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers. Yeah, it sounds like he's, he's trying to sound normal with all these microphones listening to him, right? Yes, yes, the, the weathers, wink. <laughs> I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. <laughs> Sounds like an excuse for you to eat some delicious bug snacks. And the Snoopy Banooty, or uh, Scoopy Banoopy, that's one of the things we need to get for uh, Gramble, right? Like he wanted like big bug snacks, we got him the... the I forget what it was called, but you guys know in the desert there's like that, that praying mantis thing. Praying picantis or something like that, right? Oh my gosh, Grant. Uh, I really want to change him. Like, he looks so, like, sad whenever he looks like the waffle. I know he's not. Like, he sounds alright. What if we did all eggs or something like that? Or cheesers, cheese bar. What about Interito body or something? Oh, like, we can laugh at it, but like, we know he's not happy whenever he's like all bug snack and stuff. Oh, he's all... Uh, Oh my gosh! I'll turn him in all egg. There we go. Oh my god, everything's just... Ugh! Oh man, it, that is horrifying! What if we did a... Uh, you know what, let's do Sweetie Fly, because Gramble, he's a... He's a pretty sweet fella. What if we did uh, a lovely Sweetie Fly? Let's do that. Like, he looks stupid as the egg. Maybe he'll look... Uh... Oh, whoa, those are like wings there? I don't know, he's, he's looking pretty stupid as the, the lovely Sweetie Fly right now. <laughs> Is there a way to make him not look so stupid, though? Crystal, sweetie fly? What if we did this to him? Oh! Ugh! What is with his nose? Ugh! Ugh! It looks like it's like a Squidward nose? Ugh! What if we did Cheezer? Is that going to be less stupid? I guess... Huh? Ah, kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse now. <laughs> oh my gosh! He kind of looks like he just did with the waffles and stuff. I guess we can keep him as that. He still looks like so scared and stuff though. I guess it's just he'll always look like that. Can we do anything with uh, Philbo though? Hey, uh, Feed. Is there anything new we could do with you? Like what, oh, we've only given him Rudels and Spuddies and Shrabbies. What about Spuddy? Like a Spuddy, oh yeah, the butter on his head. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, those are cool. Like legitimate, like antlers made out of like tin foil. <laughs> like a baked potato nose. Tin foil teeth, it looks like there. Oh, tinfoil body, arm. Arms are made of tinfoil. Oh, he looks like a robot now. What in the world? Okay, well, at least he looks kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> I guess if we keep him as the, the, the spuddy looking thing. There you go. <laughs> He's a little bit more presentable than he was as a shrabby. What, what about, what about Cromdo? Like, he looks really stupid as a taco. Like, what if we did a... Uh... Oh, he's eating a lot of things. What about uh, the bopsicles? Like, he loves the bopsicles. What if we made him a bunch of bopsicle sticks? Oh, gosh. Like, he's just made out of wood now. That's it. 
What in the world? <laughs> you know what? We should definitely mix that up with some of the uh, Politos or whatever it's called, right? Yeah, the Politos Grande. Yeah, look at that. His body is the popsicle when he's got a bunch of sticks coming out of him. That actually looks kind of cool. What if we did his leg and his arms, but like his appendages, like in general, or sticks? What about his teeth? Uh, I think eh, that that still look good as sticks. So let's go back. Let's give him the popsicle. See, we can get creative with the bug snacks. We don't have to make them look stupid, even though they look stupid like this. But I like this, actually. I like the way Cromdo looks now compared to his taco. Look at him. He actually looks pretty cool, to be quite honest. And Philbo, he kind of looks cool, too. I like his antlers there. What if we could do anything cool with Wiggle? We will worry about it a little bit later. But I'm very curious about how do we get to the last biome. So let's go over to uh, the Sugar Pine Forest or whatever it was called. Sugar Pine Woods. Let's see if we can find a way... To the Frosted Peaks, I think it was called, because that is the last area of uh, Snacktooth Island. And oh, that, that's up there. I apologize for dragging you into this mess again. I would take care of this issue myself if I weren't so spindly and reclusive. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just ask Chandler? But I could never do that. Chandler was far too pure. He's not ready for this world of chaos and turpitude. Okay, well, I guess I have to do it anyways. Yeah, he had, like, notes and stuff over here, because there's, like, a... Where is it? Yeah, there's the factory thing. See, there's the mountain. There's the underground factory with, like, a shrabby... I saw that in the background. That came to me when it was talking about the fa underground factory meme. What else is over here, though? Not natural. Why? Snacks factory? Yeah. <laughs> is dental... Oh, I get it. I can scan the whole thing. Did I ever scan the whole thing? Snorby has managed to fit every single conspiracy into one paranoid blob. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it would have been larger, but I ran out of red string. I forgot about that. <laughs> I want to believe there's, like, aliens involved. There's, like, a sin snail right there. A sin snail, and then there's, is that him? Or is that some generic grumpus right there? Nobody suspects a thing? Flat? Is that the cheeser? Or, like, the, uh, the Oreo version of the cheeser? Let's say radio waves. <laughs> what else is over here? Grumpinati. I like these small little bit of details that they hidden over here. Never really got a closer look at it like this. Mainstream pop music something. <laughs> Alright, we can probably get out of that. Oh, what is this? Mayor of New Grump City, Newsflash. Yeah, we heard about New Grump City. What is that? It's supposed to be New York City or some meme? There's this... If anything, yeah, we should definitely give, uh... We, we should give Snorpy a... What is it called? Not Snackbot. I don't know why I'm trying to say that. Spuddy. So we give him, like, a tinfoil hat for his head. Oh! Wait, why is this opened up now? What? There was like an avalanche here before, and now it's opened up. And Triffany and Wampus are here for some reason. Wow, five hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wamby. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Triffy, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. <laughs> oh, well, at least she agreed with him, so that's good. Okay, well, I guess, uh, Triffany and Wambus spent a few hours clearing out the avalanche, so that's good. So now we go to Frosted Peak, so that's great. So I need to pull up the map again and find out where specifically we need to go to activate this door. Oh, whoa, whoa, weird, uh, low frame rate. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just more peanut butter and stuff. Yeah, I think we got, like, all the, uh, the sauces, so I think, uh, everything we find from now on is just going to be repeat sauces. And now we've got new stuff. Flutter jam. It's like a, it's like a. It's, oh, I wonder if we can combine that together with like a. It's like a piece of bread with like jelly on it. I wonder if we can find one with, with, with like peanut butter on it. Oh, it. Does it like peanut butter? Oh, a chippy. Oh, it's like a chocolate chip cookie. There, it loves peanut butter. I want to find that, uh, that 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 piece of bread with a. Oh, what's that? Melty snack pot. How do I see that from all the way over here? Hidden around the frosted peak. The temperature keeps it from melting. Well, it says it's a melty snack pod, but whatever. Oh, there's another, uh... Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the Scoopy Banoopy thing. Is that like a banana split? It's got, like, bananas for, like... Like, like, horns slash mandibles or whatever? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a banana split. It catches prey in its foreleg and freezes them away, gets away fast. Loves chocolate. How would we... It's coming here really quickly. How would we... Trip shot wouldn't work because it's cold. I need a way to cool it or uh, warm it up. Is there another? <gasps> oh my gosh, there's Eggabel! We found her! And some fire too, which we could use to melt that thing. Awesome! Let's go talk to Eggabel! Ah, you shouldn't be here. 
It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well-being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Aren't you Agabel? Why is it dangerous? What are you doing up here? Will you come back to Snackburg? Yeah, aren't you Agabel? Why is it dangerous? What are you doing up here? I'm like, I know who you are. What are you doing up here, Agabel? I'm surviving. Aren't you Agabel? Why is it dangerous? Come back to Yeah, aren't you Agabel? You you know me? Oh, oh, you're the reporter! The one Liz was always talking about. I didn't think you'd really come out here. Why is it dangerous? Yeah, let's do that before you'd mention Snacksburg. If another earthquake strikes, it'll cause an avalanche. If you're up here when that happens, you'll be buried in snow. And if you don't die from blood force trauma, you'll asphyxiate. Oh, there's a thing on fire in the background. We can get that thing to interact with the, uh, the scoopy banoopy thing. and that'll, that'll, that'll cool it down. Okay. Maybe we could attract that thing over there with a buggy ball and cover it in uh, something. So that's pretty good. Aren't you in danger too? Yeah, if you're up here and the avalanche ha happens, you'll probably die too. I can handle it. I've been up here for weeks on my own, doing fine. Oh, I have no other questions I could ask other than, will you come back to Snacksburg? No, not until I find Liz. Yeah, I'm trying to find Liz too. What happened to her? We, we were exploring the mountain. There was an earthquake and we got separated. How can I help? Just go back home, okay? Be safe and please don't tell anybody I'm up here. What? Interview Agabelle complete. I guess that was the interview process for Agabelle. Follow Agabelle to discover her secrets. Ooh! See where she's going. She's just immediately going down somewhere. New assignment, mystery egg. Oh, this is... She's going to the, the secret doorway. This is the side of the mountain. Yep, she's going to... We know how to do it, though, but we need a third uh, person over here. If me and Agabelle stand on pressure place, who's going to stand on the third one, right? She's got snow... Yeah, look at that! There it is right there! There's the doorway! Ooh! And she's got a little snow snowman there and an igloo. What are you doing, Agabelle? Come on, Egg. You can figure this out. Just think like Liz. Ah! Stop sneaking up on me or I'll quarantine you! <laughs> what are you working on? Well, it's a big mysterious door, and I want to open it. There's some kind of weird lock on it. Liz figured it out, but I don't know what happened to her notes. I've almost got it, I swear. I just need to get into Liz's headspace. Well, we know how to do it. Return to Eggbell. We got Lizbert's journal, found the missing page, found a device notes, Liz's device notes, find notes on the mountaintop. Yeah, we, we did everything. Let's talk to Egbert now. Er, Egbert. Let's talk to Eggbell now. I have Lizbert's journal. Oh, my grump. Where'd you find this? Good work. Was her writing always this sloppy? It's not doctor bad, but still. Huh. Liz says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. Uh, thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. You don't need to do this alone. Stop treating me like a baby. <laughs> you don't need to do this alone, Agabel. Fine. You catch half, I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. Sound good? Good. Well, how would we do the three pressure plates thing then? We still need another person. Need to feed these guys the uh, the snacks that they represent. Flutter jam statue. The statue transformed into a flutter jam. It should try feeding one. Yeah, that's the uh, the toast thing that we just saw. Scoopy statue. Scoopy Scoopy Banoopy thing. What about that one? Chippy statue. Are these all uh, creatures from the whatever peak mountain that we're on right now? Stoodler statue. And there's like a spoon on its head. What was that one? Mount Sodi statue. Yeah, these are definitely all creatures from this biome. Is that an ice cream sandwich? Chili Nilly statue. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, I, I feel like if we do this, oh, oh, I thought I could scan the whole thing entirely. Oh, whoa, my gosh! Is that Philbo? Is it just a generic grump? Oh, there's a snack pot up there. You can get that. There's another one right there. Chili Nilly. Oh yeah, that's that one on the end there. Let's try to get that snack pot. Was it this one? Yep. Here we go. Snack pod. Snack pod. What's the side of her igloo, though? Is there anything, any clues in here or anything like that? 
No, just food. She's got a compass, lunchbox. I guess that's a gauze there in her backpack. And a sleeping bag. Oh yeah, I could use your sleeping bag. That's pretty cool. What time is it right now? 6 p.m.? Oh, maybe we'll sleep until like 5 a.m. or something like that. Just so it's not dark, you know? And then we need to get that Scoopy Manoopy thing by trying to lure it into, uh... Oh, is that what... Hold on. The one with the spoon. What was that called? Stoodler. Yeah, that's gotta be the one that was on fire. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see if we can actually attract the Stoodler to the Scoopy and Banoopy thing. See if they'll like kind of cancel each other out. We'll be able to catch the uh, the Stoodler. It'll, it won't be on fire anymore because it'll be cooled off by the Scoopy Banoopy thing, and the Scoopy Banoopy thing won't be frozen anymore because it'll be warmed up by the uh, the the whatever the other one was called the the Noodle thing. <laughs> oh, what's inside here though? Is there anything special in here? Melt. Oh, another snack pot on the ceiling, man. There it is. Stu yep, Stoodler. Perfect. This boiling snack is a source of warmth in the bitter cold. Perfect. Loves hot sauce. Was that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like chili? I think it is. Yeah, look at that. And it loves hot sauce. Yeah, that's perfect for chili. Agabel, if you turn it upside down, the stew does not fall out. Yeah, because it's a living creature with like six spoons for legs, it looks like. Ew. It's kind of circular. Oh, look at that shadow. That's me. Can't, you never really got a good look at you because it's only first person. But yeah, look at that shadow there. What if I put this away? I, I, yeah, I'm like any other grumpus. I've got the spindly arms and stuff, and I've got the... I've got a big belly. <laughs> look at that. Look, look at how thick I am. You see that shadow there? Boy, am I thick. Woohoo! Oh, what in the world? What is that? Oh my god, it blunk! Or blinked. <laughs> what is it? How do I... Is there another one around here? No. Oh, there is! There's stuff trapped in the ice! Nothing there, nothing there. Is there another one back there? Oh, yeah! Oh, that's the praying picantus! What? Oh, it's blinking too! Wait, why is that over here? Another one here? Yeah, oh, that's, there's a spuddy! Why are there frozen creatures from, like, every biome over here? Nothing in that one, though. I might be able to get this, uh, it loves a hot sauce, so... Oh, I've got, okay, I've got a decent amount of hot sauce. Oh, yeah, 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 cover the buggy ball in hot sauce. That's a lot smarter. Do that, and then, uh, control the buggy ball, and then... See if I can lure into that. Oh, it, oh, it's not attracted to it right now. I need to get closer. There we go, there we go. Stoodler, stoodler, stoodler! Come on, melt the ice. Oh, no, it picked up my buggy ball! No! Ow! Oh, no, my buggy ball's on fire now. Oh, what if we, uh... Oh, it worked! It, oh, oh, look at that! Look at that! It worked! Take the fire buggy ball over here and melt all the creatures! Oh no, Spotty! I freed you! Oh, it's not on fire anymore, come on! We might not need to lure the noodler, or, uh... Whatever this is. What was it? Oh, I... Oh, I thought I ran into it right there. Oh, now, are we on fire now? Is our buggy ball... Where is our buggy ball at? What? Oh, oh! It's not at us, but melt, melt the ice! There you go, perfect! It's melting the ice there, melt the ice over here, get that, that, oh, oh, it's catchable. Charmallow. Charmallow. Yeah, see, that's from the other, oh, it's on fire, it's on fire, it's on fire. The Picantes. It's on fire, no. But that's good to know, we, we have a portable source of heat over here, which is good. So we could use this to warm up the Banoopy thing. What is this? This is brand new, I don't think we've seen this yet. It's not melting, though. Oh, yeah, it's not on fire anymore, that's why. Oh, Picantis, attack the, uh, the buggy ball. Don't you love hot sauce? No, don't attack me! Oh, my gosh! Oh, if anything, yeah, we could use a spuddy to, uh, to ram into something, too. Oh, it's, it is on fire now. Perfect. Go over there, buggy ball. Go over there! Go, 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 go! I'm getting killed by the Picantis! Melt it! Is it working? It, it's, every time it goes near that one, it, it, it cools off. There you go. I ran... <laughs> <laughs> ran right into that like, noodler thing, or the, uh, whatever this one's called. Oh my god, it ran into that one. Oh, I guess I can go catch it now. Oh, there we go, there we go. Finally, that one's melting. That's good. Can I catch it now? Oh, no, I'm on fire. No! No, oh, no, this thing's on fire, too. It's like a takeaway box. Come on, why can't I? Ah, oh, we're all on fire. We're all dying. I can't catch that one. Everyone's on fire. Everyone's on fire. No! Stop crashing into me. You're making it worse. No! Oh my gosh, can I melt this thing? Oh my gosh, I thought I could melt that thing while I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, the Picantis thing! Where is our buggy ball at? Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. He's throwing it. He's going to throw it. Oh no! Go, go, into that ice. It doesn't look like there's anything there, but there might be something behind it. Oh, oh man, that thing's on fire. Oh, I need to scan it, though. Nothing's happening. It's right next to the fire. 
Man. Oh, no. I'm on. Ah, speaking of on next to the fire. We're on fire now. No. Come on. There we go. Whew. Okay, good. Where's the, uh, where's the ramen thing at? Or, uh, whoa. Oh my gosh. Well, there it is right there. It's knocked out. Oh, can I get it now? Oh, it's on. Oh, of course I can't because it's on fire. Ah! I can't even scan it. I can't scan it. I'm too busy being on fire. No! Stop it. Can I melt it? Oh, I can. If I'm on fire, I can melt the. Oh, it, that, that ice melted too. Perfect. All right. Well, you know what? Let me scan it now. Can I scan that thing? No, it's the praying picantus. No! Come on, praying picantus. Stay away. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Where is it? There it is right there. Uh, I need... Oh, no, 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 the spuddy. The spuddy's the thing that, uh, rams into the... Into this. Hold on, can I... <sighs> I wanted to catch this thing. Uh, you know what? Should, oh, what is that? Oh, it's an eggler, I think. Yeah, that's gotta be an eggler. <laughs> How funny is that? There's an eggler there, and we saw egg bell over here. Oh, can I freeze this ice in the middle, though? It looks like a... Might be able to. I don't know. My buggy ball's just stuck in the corner over there, along with the, uh... Oh, no. What is that thing supposed to be? It's like a... Oh, those are like egg rolls or something. Oh, no, I'm on fire. Okay, while I'm on fire, let's try and melt this thing in the middle. Oh, is it working? I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not working. My, my fireball over there. Oh, oh, melt the egg. Melt the eggler. Melt the eggler. Oh, there's the Scoopy Banoopy out there. Oh, the egg is on fire. Oh! The egg just hatched and is on fire. Oh, <laughs> this is crazy. This is nonsense. Okay, go go back on fire, perfect. And then we'll go back to the Scoopy Banoopy. Let's go outside to the Scoopy Banoopy with our literal great ball of fire. Go, 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 go. Get away from all these creatures. We're setting them loose. We don't need any of them for the uh, for the thing underground, but where did it go? The Scoopy Banoopy. Oh no, the fire went out. Oh nice, it, it, it is following us. Perfect. Keep following us. Perfect. 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 Where did the uh, Scoopy Banoopy go? Oh no. Why is it they attracted my hot hot sauce? Oh, there it is, but it's like so far away, though. It's not gonna survive out here. Oh, man, the fire's out. Oh, no! The soda put us out, too. Man! Alright, let's... Oh, it, oh, yeah, it washed off our uh, hot sauce, too. Man! Alright, well, I think that that, 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 that Scoopy Banoopy... Th oh, I, oh, yeah, I could've just picked it up. Forgot about that. I think the Scoopy Banoopy thing comes up here. So as long as we're able to, uh... Where'd it go? Oh, there it is right there. Perfect. Cover it in. Actually, you might not even need. It. Can we just knock it into it and it catches on fire? Oh, perfect. We don't even need to get thrown. Awesome. There's the Scoopy Banoopy. Go down there. Run into the Scoopy Banoopy. Melt him. Yes. Yes. It's working. Awesome. Wait. How do we catch him then? Hold on. I don't think we can catch him right now. Can we? Uh. He's going to melt right now. He's going to. He's going to explode. Oh no. Scoopy. No! I Oh, no, I activated the trial. Oh, he's going to explode. No, it's not going to work. I need him to be in one piece. No! Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. He exploded into, like, six different things. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm, now I've got to catch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Oh, my God. There's so much going on right now. Oh, no, I'm freezing. I need to catch. Hold on. Man, can I just pause the game? I need to catch one intact for Gramble, and then I need to catch one, uh, uh, all of all of its parts for Snorpy. That's why I'm like getting confused here, like what in the world? <laughs> Hold on, how do I, ah. I need to get the, that thing out of here though, but I need it to be on, oh, oh. Oh, the Eggler randomly just got attacked right there. <laughs> oh, there's that thing. How do I catch that thing? Oh, is it like a, a Razzy or a, like a Razzby or a, something else? Can I, I need to scan it. It's hiding bush. Hopefully it comes out. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I've got only 15 seconds to go get it though. I fell off the mountain. No, no. Go, 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 go. Only, okay. 10 seconds. We can get it. We can get it. We can get it. We can get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got it. Perfect. Cheery. That's the thing that, uh, oh, how funny that that thing was. Oh, I can catch it now. Stoodler, perfect. Stoodler, Stoodler. Oh, the banu uh, banana part of it went into the into the trees. Okay, so we can catch that. Okay, hold on. I need to get that that quest actually like selected here. Hold on. I need to track this guy into like water, and that should be good. What does he like? Chocolate, I think. Yeah, he likes chocolate. So let me get the uh, the buggy ball. There's right there. Lure him into the. No, he's gonna wash us off. Oh, I need to catch that thing so it stops it. Man, 
Oh, if anything, yeah, I could use the Picantis actually to uh lure fire into the into the into the ice the Sherby Sherby or Shub Sherber or whatever it's called. I could get fire that away from the uh, from the Picantis all the way over there. We go over there to the Picantis. Catch you on fire into a great big ball of fire. Hold on, how do I catch that that thing though? What's it called? Ag roll? Ag or ag? And of course, it's an egg roll, right? Oh man, something just went flying there. Oh yeah, the egg roll thing went. He got knocked out. Oh, that's how we can. Oh, it's like the pinkle. We got him. Egg roll. Egg roll. <laughs> oh, our ball is still on fire though. Let's go. Let's go. 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 We need to get the 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 the, the, the ice cream thing. I don't know if we're going to last long enough though. Oh man, the uh the the. The ball is kind of like charred whenever it's on fire. I never noticed that. Oh, there it is right there. I see it. I see it. I oh, the fire just went out. Man. Oh, I probably shouldn't have caught that one thing, though. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. There's that thing. How do I catch it? Get the snack trap. Oh, we got it. Perfect. We got the thing that blows out uh, our... our Sudi. <laughs> we got the thing that uh, extinguishes us whenever we cover our uh, ball in uh, whatever else. Now, how do I... Where's that? Oh, there it is right there. Okay, is it just circling around that? It is. Okay, perfect. So, it might be relatively easy to, uh... I don't know. I need to lure the hot picantus thing over here. Right? Is it like, uh, hot sauce? Yes, loves hot sauce. So let's cover it in hot sauce and we can lure the picantus over there. It might be easier than trying to lure the, the, the ball while it's on fire. Let's just lure the picantus over there by the, uh, the sherby thing. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Come over here. And then we should get that Sherby thing melted and therefore vulnerable, so we can actually catch it as part of the uh, the thing for. Oh no! Picantes! Pica oh no! God, this dumb spuddy keeps running into everything here. Come on, go around. Where is it? Where is it? At? Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, it did it get hit. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I can't get it. I'm on fire. It's still on fire. Oh, we got it right there. Scoopy. Wait, is Scoopy? Oh, I guess it's just a variation of the, the Sherby or whatever we saw on the beach. Okay. Man, that was crazy. Our ball of fire barely touched it right there to melt it so we could actually get it. That was crazy good. Do we get every... I need I need to get that mission selected for, uh... For, for... Here we go. Splitting up. Where is it? Uh... Scoopy Banoopy. Wait, I, I didn't catch the Scoopy Banoopy, did I? No. I caught it. I need to catch its parts, right? We don't have the Scoopy Banoopy here, do we? No. Uh, it looks like we caught two of them by the looks of that mission there. Hold on. Yeah, feed one Scoopy Banoopy. Apparently we caught one. We haven't- okay. I guess we feed them any of the parts instead of, like, all of the parts like I thought. Okay. Is there another Scoopy Banoopy around here, though? Like, surely there's gotta be, right? If so, then we might be able to catch one. If- What is this path? I don't know what I have scanned right now that's showing this path right here. I need to get into the Scoopy Banoopy though, and I'm... Can I... Can I get my uh, buggy ball on fire by turning it into a campfire? What's this stuff? Can I scan that? No. Pickaxe and a lantern right there, peanut butter. I need to get the buggy ball out. Let's see. Turn it on fire by doing that? No. Oh, yes I can! Ooh, cool! So yeah, if the Scoopy Banoopy comes over here, we could easily... Okay, nice. If it respawns and comes back over here, that's perfect. Is there anything else over here though? No, just a stack of rocks. Then you could fall. Jeez, oh, almost fall off the map right there. What's that broken bridge there? Oh my gosh! That's the bridge from the intro. We, that's where we fell down. That's where a ship crashed. That's where the pizza thing crashed into us. We landed there, went through that tunnel, went across that bridge. The bridge collapsed behind us. Oh my gosh! Really cool detail here, you guys. Nice. All right, is there anything else up here though? Like, up the mountain itself. Like, can I go to the top of the mountain? Oh, whoa! Oh, there's the flutter jam thing. Yeah, we need to catch that thing. Elusive flyer, I'm looking for its favorite sauce, which is peanut butter. Perfect. Loves fire for some reason. I guess if you want toasted peanut butter sandwich, I've never had that before. Still more stacks of rocks. There's gotta be another, uh, Scoopy Banoopy up here, though. Oh, there's another, uh, hot chili bowl of chili thing right there. That's good. Is there anything else hidden in these ice things? Oh, you can't see through them, though. And that's the, uh, the thing at the top that's flying around. But yeah, I just saw that the video's like 50 minutes long already. Man, time flies when you're having fun, you guys. This game is great at making time fly. Oh my gosh, we can see all of Snack Tooth Island from up here. Like, all at once. Like, look at that. There's that Mayan Pyramid thing that's over there. There's, uh, Scorched Gorge. 
There's a uh, uh, Boiling Bay, the Sizzling Sands. Can I see Snacksburg? Look at that, there's Snacksburg right there too. And oh, I forgot what the first places were called. And then there's Flavor Falls somewhere. And then that's where we began, yeah. And then right there's where we found Philbo. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You can actually see the whole map like that. That's really cool. Can we go to the top though? Like we're almost there. There's like a frozen waterfall right there. That's gotta be the uh, the remnants of that, uh, that, that, that flying piece of toast with a jam on it. Oh, that's where Egg Bell's hanging out up here. Ooh, oh my gosh. Frozen skeleton, a lost explorer in relatively modern times. Is this Triffany's? Normally the flesh would be preserved in the cold, yet this is only calcium curious. Yeah, what happened to the flesh? Why is it just bone? Uh, yeah, that's that. There you go. Can I talk to Egg Eggabel up here? Why is she hanging out? That better not be Lisbert. Like, if that's Lisbert, like, it's got the explorer hat and everything, but it might be Triffany's, like, grandma. To be quite honest. Can I talk to her casually? What did you want again? No, I can't. I can feed her. Uh, well, I, I heard you like the cheeries, but I'm not going to do that anymore. She's got, already got a spring leg right there. I'm not going to do that. I know you. Oh, my God. I could, I could uh, snack experiment her already. Uh, yeah, I can give her cheery legs and stuff. Scoopy. Is that what that banana is down there? The banana? Yeah, the banopper. Scoop oh, she's got a scoopy leg there, a banopper foot, and a uh, cheery leg right there. Oh, that's the uh, scoopy foot right there. All right. I'm not going to feed her anything there. Oh, actually, you know what? You guys remember she had a curly fry like arm? It's not, she doesn't have anything on her arms anymore. So it does go away over time. And what happened to her eye? Scan her well rounded. <laughs> yeah, cause she's an egg. Often scrambles to keep herself together. Gramble says she's a grade A pff, doctor, but I'm worried she's gonna poach my snacks. Oh my gosh, she's egg puns everywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Is there anything else in here that we could potentially scan? I definitely need to scan more stuff. There's Eggabel. Yeah, I'm not finding anything else there. We already scanned that skeleton there, so... Yeah, this this video is getting dangerously close to the hour-long mark, so I might as well end it right here before it actually hits that hour-long mark, you guys, so... Anyways, we had a lot of really good progress done over here. We finally found the final area of the... of... of uh, what's it called? Snacktooth Island? What's it called again? It was like Frozen Peaks or something like that. Frosted Peaks, yeah! So that's really cool. We finally found the last area here. Now we, we need to continue doing more interviews. I think, uh... Oh, we only did one interview today, didn't we? Unless you count Agabelle, where we technically interviewed her, I guess. It did say the interview was over or whatever when we we're done. Uh, but we only interviewed Snorpy, and that kind of led us over here, which actually ended up being pretty productive. But we still need to do the interview for Shelda and Floofty. So we still need to do those. And we might be able to actually, you know what, now that I think about it, maybe, uh, let me try and head back to Snacksburg real quick. Can we feed Snorpy, like, any piece of that Banopper thing? And he'll be fine? Because his mission is worded, like, where it sounds like we can. Like, it, it said I I got, like, two out of the one pieces of the Banopper. I thought I needed to get, like, every piece of the, uh, Banopper. Or the, uh, not the Banopper, but the, uh, Scoopy Banoopy thing. Like, it split off to, like, six different things or something like that, but I guess we only need to get one of those, which we already have, like, two of them, which is great. All right, we're back at Snacksburg. <laughs> look at Chantlow. Yeah, I definitely think they look way better when they're, like, like a mixture yeah, of different little. snacks. It's really cool. Let's feed them. So can I feed them now, like, any piece of that? Scoopy, Cheery. I think those were the two pieces. Yeah, the Cheery and the Scoopy. Let's give them the Cheery, though. That's kind of cool. Cheery! Oh. Cheery! Let's give them the leg. <laughs> there we go. Delicious! Thank you, Chum, for feeding me that random bug snack for no reason. <laughs> and while we're enjoying frivolous activities, I have another for you. Meet me out back. Ooh. I'm afraid that our success may provoke a counterattack from the Grumpinati. However, I have defenses prepared. Oh, well, almost prepared. I've set up flares around town. They should ward away any predator snacks looking to take action against us. What do I need to do? How do they work? What do I need to I, I just need to end the episode off right here, Snorpy. Like, this is getting really long. What do I need to do? I'm so glad you asked. Did you know that my trip shot can do more than, well, trip? It can also spread fires or spread waters, harness the elements of nature, if you will. With that in mind, you should be able to light the rest of my flares. Ooh, get lit. How would I do that? Like, here's one flare, it looks like. 
Uh, hold on. Is he implying? Where's the other flares at, though? Oh, here's Floofty's uh, hut over here. I need to find more of those flares and then light them up. But I think what he's saying is that every, uh, whenever we use the trip shot, it like catches on fire and it like spreads. I think that's what he wants us to do. So am I able to do that by just shooting the trip shot from that one flare? Oh, here we go, here, here, here we go. Perfect. So it looks like we might be able to shoot it from, oh, that's the, uh, the grappler thing, trip shot. Like if I place the trip shot like right here, it catches on fire. Yep, it's on fire right now, but I can aim it at the other, uh, flare thing, fire it, and it spreads over there. Oh, yep! Cool! So, it works with that, it works with fire, it works with water. How would it work with water, though? Wouldn't it just break if it hit the water? Well, then again, wouldn't it just break if it was on fire like this, though? Where's the other, uh, flares at, though? Light all the flares. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it looks like we're not, like, stuck in this thing right here. I think, I think we're still in, like, free roam or whatever, so I think we're, uh... I aim it there. Where is it? I don't know where I. Oh, bro, you're gonna burn down Snacksburg with those things. Why are you lighting all this stuff up? This is classified. It has nothing to do with Snorpy. <laughs> uh, this is classified information. Oh, you know what? If we mention Snorpy, maybe he'll be fine with it. It has nothing to do with Snorpy. Bro, I saw Snorpy set these up. If you don't want to tell me what he's up to, I'll respect that. But don't treat me like I'm stupid. Got it? Oh man, he's getting pretty aggressive lately. Might be because of the bug snacks. Ooh, oh, there's the other uh, thing right there. Yeah, it sounds like we. Oh, whoops. Uh oh, that, that's not good. Oh my god. Oh, it's like bo Ow! It's all it's all boarded up now. Whoops. That's going to be bad. You know what? You know what? We need to be very careful with all this literal fire right now, you guys. So I'm going to save this for next episode because I don't think there's a way we could do this. <laughs> in this episode without making it over an hour long, so I need to end it off like right here, so. Oh, I can make it go all the way up here, ooh. So I can make it, hold on. I think this is how I could, oh man. This is how I could spread it from here, right? Aim it all the way down there. Oh my gosh, look at the range! Holy, and then from here. Yeah, there we go, all right. But yeah, let, let me just do my outro while I do this. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That will put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we come back with some more bug snacks, it looks like we're going to be finishing up this mission. I don't know how we can go from there to there. There's already there's a bunch of huts in the way and I don't want to light <laughs> any more fires that I don't need to, you know? I don't know, maybe we'll figure it out next episode. Uh, oh! Can I do that? Oh I, can, oh, I can do the campfire. Yeah. Cool. All right, nice. I might actually be able to finish this before the outro, you guys. Uh, I don't know where I was in the outro. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that bell. And if you do that, it will turn on post notifications. And you'll get notified as soon as a new video goes up. Oh, so you won't miss a video. Because like I said, we have a couple more interviews. We've got a lot of side quests ahead of us. We're making a lot of progression over here with the storyline, which is awesome. So you guys definitely won't want to miss another episode of Bug Snacks here in the future, because I'm still uploading these every day and just kind of randomly as well. Boom! There we go! Nice! Those are all spread right there. Perfect! Looks like the campfire over here was kind of the key to spreading it to like all these other uh, flares over here, which is good. But yeah, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and next time we come back, we can return to Snorpy to finish off this mission. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Bug Snacks. Oh, bye there. Oh.